I'm not sure what I want to talk about, but I want to try and get my my thoughts out there on how I feel. So a couple of weeks ago, I got a phone call from the doctor's office who informed me that they had found um, like something on the MRI, on my brain MRI, and um, that, uh, like, but it was, like, they couldn't determine exactly what it was, so the doctor had sent me for possible MS lesions on the left side of my brain because I have a lot of symptoms, and it took me a while to kind of put things together, but a lot of things made sense after I started reading up on it more and more. Like, I really didn't have time and while well, my mom was really sick and she was going to pass away. So um, it wasn't really at the forefront of my mind. But when we had come across MS, because we were looking for my mom's neurological problems and symptoms, like we were looking for other answers, um, that was the one thing like if she had ms lesions then they could treat her and she could live a lot longer but um like she didn't have any ms lesions so that being said just the fact that my mom died of psp and that i might there's a possibility that i could have it but if they found something i guess you could say that i'm just wanting to know. I don't want to wait another six months to see somebody. I want them to go back and go and look at it now. Is that so much to ask? Because my mom had a neurological disease and there's a possibility that I might have one. So I don't know. It's kind of scary. Like, but when they told me it was it made sense like now I was like happy because I finally had some answer that they saw something they're just not sure what it is yet um but it just it just bothers me that I still don't have that answer so it would be nice to have that answer definitely because I could just kind of start planning the rest of my life like like I talked to my husband and I said I, I might not go back to work if I um, if I have MS. I want to enjoy the rest of my life. But if they can control my MS, then I might just go back to work. Might I'll just work part time instead. So the one, the biggest thing that's really bothering me and has taken really a big toll on my physical health and on my mental health is how exhausted I am. Like, I'm super tired all the time. And I just thought people felt like that. Like, my husband's tired, but he's diabetic. So, of course, diabetes causes people to actually be tired. Like, it, it's just, it's part of the disease. And for me, if I have MS, then, you know, the, the, the tiredness that I go through, like, especially when I'm going through block, like periods of time where I'm not feeling well and everything is really bad. <coughs> um, I think what I want is, 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 is just to be able to know and that uh, it's okay for me to be tired and sleep because it's not me being lazy. But it's hard. It's hard not to feel that way. Like, you got all of society against you. And nobody knows except the people close to you. And I choose not to talk about it with people that I love. Like, people that are in my circle. <coughs> because not everybody will understand. Um... People will try extra hard and that's because I know them like it's like I've and anyways, I'm not ready to talk about it with everybody else like like with 
all these people. I'm not ready for that. And I mean, if you see this and you're hearing it, it's just because I need to get it out. Because I feel sad and mad and exhausted and tired. And it's frustrating and I'm anxious because I don't know what the future my future holds. So I just have to take it one day at a time. It's kind of hard. It feels super hard. Like my depression doesn't help either. And um, we suspected bipolar disorder in the past. Like bipolar disorder is actually one of the symptoms of, of MS. So like... Everything just makes sense now. It's, it's just crazy. But I did fall twice. I did a full like board hit the bottom of my elbow here, like right inside here. It was hurting really bad. It was all black. Um, that was because there was ice, but I also lost like I lost my balance while I was on the ice. And so trying to recover and falling on my butt, I ended up on my, like, full back. Like, I went boom, like that. It was so bad. And then the other time, my leg wouldn't go up on the sidewalk. It was like, it was like my leg was like, nope, nope, you're not going up. And then I fell straight down. And I still have, like, scar, like, not scars, but I still have, um, some, uh, some things, like, some, uh, anyways, you know what I'm talking about, right? Anyways, if anybody's out there and you want to connect and you need help and you need support and you're looking for somebody, like, seriously, you can, like, just shoot me an email, hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, whatever. I just... I'm really not on there, but this is really more for me, me to get better. I need this. I need to talk about what's going on in my mind. It's crazy. I feel so lost without my mom. It's really different. I would recorded a video after I called my dad, like my parents' house, and I never posted it, I think. And I, like, had called my parents' house, and he wasn't there. And then the voicemail came on, and it was my mom talking. And it was so soothing to hear her talk. You know, to hear her voice. I guess everything comes down to, you know, having to sort that out still. Like, I'm not ready to move on. Yeah. Keeps me sane. Later.